Is Steam Deck really that good? New Steam Deck Review Welcome to Product Review Hub. With the Steam Deck, you can play thousands of Steam games on the go. It lets you run apps and browse the web, and not all Steam games are optimized or compatible. Valve's portable gaming equipment is larger and more powerful than the Nintendo Switch. Battery life is reduced due to the Steam Deck's high power consumption and ability to run higher-end games, but it's not built for non-Steam games like Xbox Game Pass or Epic Game Store. It's a spacious but cozy. After owning Game Boys since their release, the Steam Deck is my largest portable game device. The about 12-inch wide portable will take up more bag space than the standard Nintendo Switch. Fortunately, the Steam Deck comes with a free traveling bag with a sturdy outer shell and a convenient handle. Aside from a few niggles, Valve's plus-size portable is a joy to use for extended hours. It's under a pound and features wide ergonomic handles on both sides, making it seem more like a controller than the Switch's flat Joy-Cons. Both trackpads can replicate everything from joysticks to mouse inputs. It was amazing for jumping and sprinting in Doom Eternal without taking my hands off the sticks. Gyroscope control made aiming in Counter-Strike Global Offensive simple. The DEX controls may be remapped title by title, which is great for accessibility and customizing gameplay. Despite its flaws, we enjoyed gaming on Valve's portable PC, so we missed several of my usual combos in games like Street Fighter V and Mortal Kombat 11. My hands crammed tremendously during intense God of War engagements that required me to use the shoulder buttons regularly. We also had trouble reaching the Steam button to access the main menu with my left thumb. On the top are power and volume buttons, while on the bottom is a micro SD card slot. Not only is the micro SD card slot unprotected, but it's also tough to insert and remove. However, Valve will sell its own docking station later this year for an undisclosed fee. A USB-C hub can also connect an 8K display or other gadgets. Amazing performance for a laptop with some flaws. The Steam Deck is a powerful device that can be easily transported by train or plane. Valve's Portable ran recent PC games at a fidelity comparable to a PS4, Xbox One or cheap gaming laptop and better than the Switch. Frame rates up to 60 FPS optimal on medium settings and 30 to 40 FPS still playable on high settings were seen in popular games like God of War and Elden Ring. In order to get the desired smoothness in some games, we had to lower the aesthetics. We loved playing these virtually magnificent PC games on the go, especially when equivalent third-party blockbusters are substantially degraded on the Switch. While the Steam Deck stayed cool, its fans grew louder as the games got harder. Oli Oli World and The Messenger, both indie games, looked and felt great. The Steam Deck's 7-inch 1200x800 display played games nicely. We liked Oli Oli World and Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, but God of War and Doom Eternal were more dramatic. The system's color and contrast pale in comparison to the Switch OLED panel's vivacity. Aside from the deck's dual front-facing speakers, everything sounded crisp and quick. We put the Steam Deck through the same Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark we used to evaluate the best gaming PCs and gaming laptops to achieve a more objective view. Valve's portable PC managed 49 FPS on low settings and 37 FPS on high, which isn't as excellent as most gaming laptops but is still usable. A weird crash occurred every time we tried to join an online Mortal Kombat 11 match on Steam Deck. Crashing and sluggish main menu performance were also common, though easily fixed. This is a good thing. We hope Valve keeps upgrading to fix performance issues. Steam Deck work? As much as we liked Steam Deck, it isn't guaranteed to work with every Steam game. The good news is that Valve's labeling system makes it easy to judge a title's suitability for your deck. The bad news is that Steam Deck optimized games are rare. To categorize your games, you can use one of four labels, designed to work well with Steam Deck's controls. It's possible to play on Steam Deck, but such as using an on-screen keyboard or zooming in on small text. Not available on Steam Deck. Almost every untested game we attempted worked fine, including Street Fighter V, Doom Eternal, Mortal Kombat 11 and Resident Evil 3. But the current PC favorite, Halo Infinite, is unplayable on deck. Included are Destiny 2, Lost Ark, Rainbow Six Siege and Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. Elden Ring, The Witcher 3, Hades, Stardew Valley and Horizon Zero Dawn are just a few of the many titles already optimized. Before you spend hundreds on a device that may not play your favorite games, check out the Steam Desktop Shop, a laptop computer. 
the Steam OS UE makes it easy to play games, track friends, and change settings. In order to contact Steam Pals or Shop, we had to press hard on the system's virtual on screen keyboard. A performance overlay indicates CPU usage, frame rate, and battery life when gaming. Steam Deck also supports remote play, which lets you stream games from your PC to your deck without having to download them. But the Steam Deck is a computer, not a gaming device, so we used my AirPods Pro to better hear my opponents in Doom and an Xbox controller over USB-C to boost precision in Tekken 7. In desktop mode, the Steam Deck behaves like any other PC. The Steam Deck's desktop mode runs on a customized Linux with several quirks. The built-in marketplace makes installing apps like Spotify or Discord a breeze. My Steam Deck allows me to use Slack and Google Docs on a 7-inch screen. You can download Google Chrome from the Steam Deck's library if you don't want to use desktop mode. While Chrome could launch Xbox Game Pass and Amazon Luna games, it didn't recognize controller inputs. In response, Valve has announced a new patch. You are only limited by your imagination and technical skills with the Steam Deck PC. This allows you to download non-Steam markets like an Xbox app, Origin, and Epic Games Store, which is necessary to play games like Fortnite. We wish there was an easier way to import PC titles from these stores to Steam Deck. We adore Valve's open-ended portable gaming computer and have enjoyed watching how others use it. Batteries die quickly. The Steam Deck won't last long on a graphically intensive gaming excursion. Playing graphics intensive games depleted the handheld's battery life, which ranges from 2 to 8 hours. The 40 watt hour battery was consumed in about an hour and a half by playing games like Elden Ring and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Carry a portable charger when using this on the road. However, we do love that Valve's Portable can provide a detailed battery estimate that changes depending on what you're playing. In Metal Gear Solid 5, moving to Oli Oli World increased my battery projection. The system will estimate charging time to 100%. These are wonderful features for game planning. Choosing a Steam Deck. The Steam Deck comes in three storage sizes, 64, 256, and 512 GB. If you can afford it, get the higher-end model. The entry-level model lacks storage for a AAA game and uses slower EMMC storage, slowing game loading times SSDs. So even my 256 GB model was frequently full, forcing me to delete games and make room for new ones. Thanks to micro SD cards, your Steam Deck can now store 256 GB for $38. Metal Gear Solid 5 and Jet Set Radio run smoothly on my 64 GB SD card. You won't get the same fast load times as the system's SSD. With a USB-C port, you may also connect an external hard drive to your Steam Deck. For those who don't want to rely on external storage as much, we recommend the 512 GB. On the Steam website, you can reserve a Steam Deck for $5. After making a reservation, you have 72 hours to buy. In conclusion, as a PC gamer who prefers to play on the couch or go, the Steam Deck is ideal. A decent entry point into PC gaming, the Deck is more expensive than comparable handhelds, but even the $649 variant is less than most gaming laptops. Its limited battery life, bulky design, and occasional flaws suggest the Steam Deck has room to grow. A smaller, more efficient successor is likely, given the evolution of similar handhelds. Besides that, many more titles may not work on the portable. The $299 Nintendo Switch and $349 Nintendo Switch OLED are perfect for road gaming. For those who wish to carry their Steam library with them, the Steam Deck is a great starting step. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to this channel.